So we will continue the discussion of web architecture. So today we will discuss about push-pull architecture. So what is push content? What is push content architecture? See, what happens is when we transmit or send message and receiving of message is done unsolicited secondary. That means uh, um, without even asking sometimes we get some messages by the server. Okay. In client server application, So this is the server, this is the client. Usually client sends a request and server gives response. Okay. This is the way of client server CS architecture. Okay. But what is push content architecture? Push content architecture is when the server gives response unsolicitedly. That means without even asking, the server gives response to the client. Okay, that is called push content architecture. Okay, so what is push content architecture? When server sends something, sends some information without the client request, without the request of client, if server sends something on its own, then we call it as a push content architecture. Now, that, as an example, I can mention that sometimes you get messages or promotional messages from various sites. Suppose you have subscribed to Mintra. Okay, you do a, a lot of online shopping and you have registered yourself, you are a Mintra user now. Now Mintra always gives you notification, isn't it? That this is from Sunday to Saturday, from Saturday to Sunday it is end of season sale and there will be 50% discount or 70% discount on some items. Okay, so these are the promotional messages that the Mintra sends to you unsolicited. You are not asking for it. Mintra is telling you on its own for its promotion. Okay. Such kind of messages are example of what? Push content architecture. Okay. So such examples of, uh, of push content architecture. Now what is pull content? Pull content is usual. Okay. That means the client sends request and the server response. Okay. This is called pull content. So what is pull specifically? Once the server gives, the client takes it. Okay. Client takes or pulls the response. Such is called pull, uh, pull content architecture. Okay. So this type of, you know, arrangement is called pull content architecture. It is just like normal, the client requests, the server responds and once the service responds, if the client has to pull it, then we call it as a pull content architecture. Okay. So, uh, what to say? So, this was all about push and pull content architecture. Now, we will understand or we can say we will, I will just tell you some briefly about what are the web implemented architecture, web implemented architecture called iCode. So what is iCode? iCode is a packet based web protocol, packet based web protocol used to used for wireless mobile communication okay it uses WML as its markup language and it uses web based protocol and it was started by Japan in which year in the early 1990s that is in 1990s Japan created a web-based protocol which was widely used and it was named as iMode okay it is based on web protocol and it uses a WML language okay to communicate in the internet the language used is WML wireless workup language now with the starting of iMode it was you know possible to send multimedia messages with 
with the advent of this iPhone, in mobile devices, earlier it was only used for communication, isn't it? Mobile devices were firstly used for communication, that is voice, voice communication. Okay, we couldn't do much with mobile. But with the advent of, with the starting of this iPhone, we also started exchanging files, multimedia files like audio files, okay, not just audio signals, audio files you could send, video files you could send, okay, text based messages you could send, okay, with this i mode, we could send all these multimedia packets, similar to this is WAP 2.x, okay, this has similar features, I will send you the theoretical notes of all of these today itself, okay, so I will send you all of this today itself, in your WhatsApp group, the complete mobile computing material, study material, I will send it so that you can be thorough with each and every topic. Okay, each and every topic has been mentioned in detail in that material. So you need not worry. Reading this material itself, you can you know easily grasp everything. Okay, with a diagrammatic representation, everything has been mentioned, and you can of course refer to these videos as well. So I think. Only one chapter that is messaging services is left. We will cover it shortly, very shortly. And uh, with the wireless telecom, uh, telecom networks, I have already uploaded the videos regarding GSM and GPRS. GSM and GPRS architectures are very, very important. I have already uploaded the videos. Please go through it once again. If you have any doubt, you can contact me through WhatsApp or we can discuss in Zoom class. And the last chapter, messaging services, we will start shortly and I will be uploading the material. And you, you all you have to do is read that material thoroughly, ask me in case of any doubts and refer to these videos as well. And your prescribed book you can also read. Okay, in that case you need not need that material. But if you, you know, read this book by NHRD Mobile Computing, that will also be sufficient for your preparation. Now, thank you.